uh, serve under your chairmanship. And may I congratulate my uh, colleague, the member for Bolton West, in bringing forward this um, important debate this morning. Um, my interest in the sector um, arose uh, as a consequence of an invitation uh, to visit uh, Pathfinders Nursery in my constituency, based at the Crescent School in Rugby, and to discuss uh, the challenges faced by the sector with Alison Dyke, who's the owner of the nursery and is chair of the Warwickshire Day Nurseries Association. And my interest uh, was aroused partly because I know about the importance of providing uh, 30 hours of quality uh, childcare uh, and nursery education to our, our youngsters to give them uh, a great start in life, the importance to parents, uh, uh, and, and particularly in enabling those parents who want to get back into the workforce to do so. Uh, but I'm, my interest was also arose as a, as a businessman. I was a businessman for 25 years, and uh, some of the issues that were drawn to my attention were about the sustainability and the viability uh, of a fast-growing small business sector, uh, and uh, I wanted to understand uh, the business um, implications. And a great deal of what I learned on my meeting uh, 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 is to do with the issue of funding, which both of the uh, uh, earlier speakers have already uh, mentioned. Um, as a, Warwickshire, a fellow Warwickshire MP, uh, the Minister will be aware that there is a variation, of course, in the amount of funding that different authorities receive. The national uh, headline funding rate is £4.94 per hour, uh, but in Warwickshire, as the county authority, Warwickshire receives £4.30 an hour, and I had assumed that meant £4.30 an hour that got paid to the childcare provider. That, of course, isn't the case, uh, because local authorities are entitled to uh, take a deduction, and in Warwickshire, that deduction amounts to 5%, and that 5% is used by the local authority to fund the early years uh, SEND team, to provide some business support, and to contribute to the early years provider. And what that results in is a rate of £3.96 uh, paid to childcare providers in Warwickshire and uh, uh, Alison tells me that this is really not enough uh, to provide uh, high quality childcare. Her, her, she believes that that enables child providers to, to provide nothing more than a bare bone service and there is some uh, research that the Minister I know will be aware of which supports that contention. Um, CEDA um, have found that the hourly cost uh, to a provider of providing three- and four-year-old places is £5.08 per hour. Uh, of course, the government average is 4 34 and as I've just referred to, Warwickshire pay providers £3.96 per hour, and that leaves uh, a shortfall of around a pound an hour. And uh, I see to calculate that this adds up to an annual, annual funding shortfall of £63 million for the uh, nationwide 30-hour offer of three- and four-year-olds. And uh, the National Day Nurseries Association have found that since the 30 hours policy was introduced, uh, closures have increased by uh, 47% uh, compared uh, to 2017. And uh, m much of that is as a consequence of financial uh, pressures. Uh, the ND, uh, National Day Nurseries Association have found that 19% of nurseries now expect to make a loss with only 43% anticipating to make a profit or a surplus. Uh, and we've already referred to the difference between the cost of delivering the service and the cost of funding the service. And uh, respondents to the survey highlight challenges in, in, in the sector uh, being also based on administration. 85% said there was admi additional administration and 58% said that managing the complexity of the system was one of the uh, challenges that they face. Um, and... Uh, 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 Mrs Dyke uh, went on to then tell me about um, her uh, assessment of the position that she finds. They're delighted that they, there are parents who are now able to access funding and that there are parents now who are able to uh, provide a nursery education to their children in a way that they uh, they weren't uh, able to receive it previously. And uh, uh, Pathfinders and, and Mrs Dyke are very proud of the very high quality environment uh, that they offer to children uh, between the ages of six months and, and five years. And they allocate 28 places for children aged three and four who are in receipt of the uh, ex extended 30 hours funding. And uh, her assessment is that those children who do attend nursery uh, progress extremely well in terms of their development and there is an enormous uh, advantage 
of, 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 of their, their attendance. Her concern is how to fund it, and the, 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 also the concern that um, the rate, I understand, has now been frozen until 2020, uh, and that's despite increasing costs in labour, staff training, and the fire providing of services. And she goes on to confirm her view that she, for those on the 30-hour uh, uh, funded places, there uh, being the providers are being required to, to provide just a no-frill service, and there are concerns that a no-frill service doesn't equate to quality childcare. Uh, my honourable friend has referred to uh, uh, the, the action of many uh, providers in asking parents to pay for additional services, uh, which she defines as, as being the provision of food, snacks and other consumables, and in addition to some specialist sessions. And she says that that's a... Uh, happily give way to my honourable friend. I thank my honourable friend for giving way. Uh, there is uh, also an additional cost for uh, those parents perhaps needing 40 hours of uh, childcare, uh, they also have to pay a separate rate, a different rate, uh, for their children at that stage. And actually, those parents who may not have a, uh, a, a higher income, they may still be on a very low wage, they may be subsidising those additional hours above the 30 for other people on their 30 hours. That's exactly the point that my constituent is making, that, though, that, that there is a differential rate uh, and the, those uh, who are paying the higher rate in fact, are effectively are subsidising uh, those who are uh, being paid the government funded rate. I mean, Mrs Dyke goes on to, to tell me that if all... Uh, that one problem is that parents are not obliged to pay uh, for the additional services and uh, she takes the view that if all parents refuse to pay it, businesses, more businesses would then become unsustainable, quality would be compromised and uh, providers would either have to stop offering the 30 hours funding or to shut down completely. And at a time when we're working hard to, to increase this provision, to extend this provision to more and more children, uh, that is a matter of concern. I know the Minister uh, uh, is aware of uh, Mrs Dyke's concerns because uh, he was very kind to reply very promptly to a letter I sent to him uh, setting out some of her concerns and, and I, I have in turn passed that on. But I very much look forward to hearing the Minister's comments at the end of the, de the, the debate. I ho hope he might be able to share some early indications of the evaluation uh, that the department has been taking place and I hope that we will continue to push forward and, uh, uh, and develop this very important sector. Uh, Julie Cooper.